Hey guys, got a level here with a brand new free overlay pack. Uh, this one was inspired by the game The Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, I started playing this game recently and I was like, hey, I should probably make a, an overlay pack because I, I needed to make design for my own stream. So basically, if you go to gumroad.com slash guy level, uh, you can find it's going to be the latest depending on when you're watching this video. But for right now, at the time of the recording of this video, this is the latest, so it's going to be up top. If you click on it, this is where you're going to get a preview of all the graphics that you get, but also a detail description of what is included in this pack so it's a free pack it's static so it's not animated it's png files and uh, all the details are there so if you want to customize them in a way or another you are going to follow uh, whatever is written in the description for example the fonts you're gonna have to download and install them before you can use them yourself and then i also have a link to a tutorial to actually learn how to import them in your broadcasting software and also on twitch that being said i am still going to demonstrate how i do it it's not going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial i will link to a step-by-step -step if you're new to streamlabs obs or you don't know much about it but uh, today I'm just going to put everything in place just to show you how it looks uh, once you install the whole overlay pack. OK, so we're going to start with the Twitch channel. This is my bots channel right now. It is using it is utilizing the wolf pack, which is another pack that you can get on Gumroad uh, right there for free. And uh, we're going to basically change everything so that it uh, fits the brand new ESO. Elder Scrolls Online uh, overlay packs. And you have to click on your name here in order to get to the banner. So we're gonna do that. Go ahead and find the banner. That's part of the pack. So that's uh, banner.png. Uh, now keep in mind, Twitch has a couple of bugs when it comes to uploading stuff. Uh, sometimes it says error or whatever. Sometimes just refreshing will show you that it actually uploaded it. So right now it says upload timed out. Please try again. I'm gonna close this and I'm just gonna refresh. Uh, it may not be the case. It may, it may work perfectly for you, but it, it's a bug that I have myself on chrome so this is uh, the banner and then now for the offline image you actually have to do uh, you actually have to go to dashboard and then at the bottom you will find channel and here under video player banner this is where you update the offline image so you're gonna find your offline.png so in this pack what i did is i also gave you a background image for almost every graphic if that is the offline image i also give you a blank one so if you want to add whatever text you want in there you can do it by downloading the fonts and just adding them and whatever whatever editing software that you use okay so it's the the same thing for the starting soon for example but we'll see that a little bit later all right let's just upload this uh offline okay see now it says upload timed out again but i know that it actually uploaded it so i'm gonna go back to my channel okay so there it is so now we have the banner and we also have uh the offline image so now uh, let's just change the panels you're gonna see that button that says edit panel uh this is all for desktop by the way i'm pretty sure you not you cannot do all of that from mobile or maybe there's a technique but i don't know about it if you're gonna do it do it from a computer you can't do that from the twitch app that's for sure okay so add image click here and then the panels i'm gonna have the about me Make sure that you don't crop anything. So you drag the bottom and then submit. So it would, will save the specific panel. Do the same thing for the rest. When it comes to panel title, do not add anything in there. Okay, the, the panel title is said is already written on the image. So don't add something on top of it. Okay, everything is added. Make sure that everything uh, you click submit on every one of them and then just click on edit panels again and it should show you the new panels. There they are. OK, so now your front page is is uh, pretty much done. I do include in the overlay pack this avatar template. So if you're using whatever program that you're using and you have a picture of yourself, you can drag and drop this on top of it. I could demonstrate it real quick in Photoshop, but I'm guessing I understand that most of you do not own Photoshop, but it's just a demonstration. You can technically do this in any editing software, even Microsoft Paint, if you have to. And I'm just going to click on the avatar update profile picture. There we go. Upload photo and it. There it is. You can zoom in a little bit, but make sure you don't crop the the outside of it because that's kind of the whole point. So just click save. Could not upload the picture. Please try again. All right, Twitch. I don't believe you. Let me just uh, refresh to see if it uh, took into account. There you go. 
So now that you have your Twitch channel that looks like that, really like on theme with uh, Elder Scrolls Online, let's go to your broadcasting software. For this example, we're going to be using uh, Streamlabs OBS. So I'm going to start with a fresh canvas. First thing I'm going to do is uh, rename my first scene because I want my first scene to be starting soon. Okay. And now I'm going to add uh, an image because every file in the overlay pack, uh, they are images. They're PNG images. So you're going to add every one of them as images. We're going to find them and boom, you have your, uh, you have your starting soon screen so you can do the same thing for the rest if i want a bri back screen just call it brb add it press plus go to image double click image add new source instead because you don't want to add the same thing put brb overlay click add source find the image and add it boom is that easy if you want to switch from one to another you can do that so there you go now let's add the intermission screen And there you go, your intermission screen is pretty much done. Now, of course, you're gonna have to add your alert to every single scene. Um, let me show you a game scene, for example, so we can touch on the uh, webcam overlay. Click OK, click Browse, click Camera Overlay.png. Uh, you're gonna see that's a huge file. Um, I did not create this. This is pretty much the logo of ESO. Uh, that's why it's so good <laughs> that's why it's so huge mostly and the first thing you're going to be thinking is oh my god this is a circle how am i going to fit my camera like that doesn't fit right don't worry about that i'm going to show you in a couple seconds so you choose the size that you want your camera overlay to be always keep it kind of small if you want it to look good don't don't have a huge huge camera overlay all right cool so now we're going to take our webcam all right we're going to right click on it in the source list we're going to go to filters all right and we're going to click the plus button and we're going to add a image mask slash blend okay click done and now in path don't change anything just click path you're going to find um two different masks that i included in the overlay pack one is the wide mask um, if you have a very wide camera and the other one is just camera mask and that is the one made for the camera overlay So if you don't want to use uh, a circular webcam, you can always use a rectangular, but there are no Rectangular camera overlays just a mask right now. We have the circular camera mask and now Our camera Fits of course. I'm not positioned perfectly, but now this is our camera overlay So if you want you can tweak it a bit make sure that it's perfect for you. And then you're gonna hold control with the webcam selected, camera overlay selected, and then you're gonna click click on that group button. Call the group camera overlay, and now you have a group. If you want to move them, they will move together now. Make sure you select them in the source though. There you go. Okay, so that's your camera overlay. Uh, it's part of a group now. Now, when it comes to different languages, I want you guys to know that I added uh, some background. So I'm going to go and add another image, for example, to my starting soon screen. And now you have a blank starting soon, but you need to put it in your language or you want to display some other text inside the description of the overlay pack. You just click there. You can click on those fonts. So I, I use two fonts. Uh, you choose whatever one you want to, to, to use. So it's first one is plain Walker. You can actually download it straight from there. And the other one is typo three that you can also download straight from there. So the description actually has links for the fonts and we're going to add a text. So text GDI and now we're going to type our text. So I type that uh, starting soon in French pretty much. And we're going to find our font that is called typo three because that's the font used with the pack. So so always make your font huge and then size it down so that it stays uh, high quality. If you want to center something, uh, you can go to transform and then center on whatever um, access you want and uh, there you go i'm probably gonna time lapse the breast where i'm gonna really perfect this and there we go now this overlay pack doesn't come with a uh, low bar for for you to put your uh stream labels like most recent follower and all of that what i advise you to do is create that and put it on a separate scene and i'm gonna show you how to do it so okay so that's a new scene that we're gonna we're going to import on other scenes so first thing that i'm gonna do is create a text and now we're gonna type all of our labels uh, recent follower recent subscriber, top donator, top cheerer. So I added this space at the end so that it's going to be easier for us to um, to center it on screen. So I'm gonna click done. So that's our first text. We're going to transform and center it on, actually we're gonna place it 
want it to be down most of the time it doesn't really matter we're gonna fix that later and uh we're going to center it on the horizontal axis so now it's in the middle pretty much okay click away doesn't look too bad that's good and now we're gonna add the labels so how do you add labels in streamlabs now because it changed a lot you just click on stream label so add stream labels so first one is gonna be recent follower and now i can figure out which which one i want I'm going to find the subcategory of follows go I go followers and then here you have most recent follower that's my most recent follower right there now you can change the font and everything just like just like you would do for a normal text source you can add a filter that will make it scroll it's literally a filter called scroll in fact I actually advise you on doing that so filters click the plus find scroll click OK done and then give it a little bit of uh, speed horizontal speed and you have to limit the width so it doesn't go on top of everything else if there's a long name. So we're going to limit the width and we're going to find a the perfect width here. It is kind of a guessing game, but there we go. All right, place it. So now instead of doing this over and over again, what you can do is right click on this, click copy. So that's going to be control C. You can also do it with control C, click away. You don't have to click away, but paste duplicate, not reference duplicate. That's going to create a new source pretty much with the same thing. Now we're going to go duplicate. Now you have a duplicate of this. It doesn't duplicate the, um, it does not duplicate the, the filters, but that's completely fine. Uh, don't worry about uh, the height yet. One way to know if you're at the same height, you can click on the previous one. And on top here, it says uh, 1043. And here it says 44. So we're gonna press the arrows on the keyboard to adjust it. When you duplicated it, it actually has the same name. So make sure you click, you right click, rename, and this is gonna be subs, okay? Now you can also right click, duplicate again copied basically and you're gonna do the same thing now it's top donator okay so for the filter what i'm gonna do now is go on my most recent follower so this is the follower i'm gonna right click copy filters we're gonna click on sub uh paste filters boom donor paste filters boom cheerer paste filters and there you have it now you have your low bar as i like to call it basically your labels bar so what you can do now is go for example on your starting soon if you wanted to show you can go click on the plus and add a whole new scene well not the whole new scene your low bar scene basically you can add that and click add source and look at that it's right here and you can move it if you want if you want it on the top that's fine too but now it's here and you can add it just like that to every other scene you can make it smaller if you want and everything so starting soon be right back intermission uh, remember that intermission you can add like your camera here if you if you want uh gaming scene ending and there you go what is it what is something that i did not demonstrate oh i forgot to demonstrate the um the other mask for the camera one last thing is i'm gonna turn off the display capture okay let's imagine that your camera is what's supposed to be here so i'm gonna go uh video capture device depending on which webcam you're using some webcams will not allow you to have two different sources, unfortunately, but mine just happens to let me do exactly that. So I can have one source with a filter, for example, just like in the game scene here and one without a brand new. So I'm going to use that to my advantage and uh, place myself here. So I'm going to crop myself. The thing is, my camera has a weird it's not 1080p, so it has a weird uh, crop factor to it. So you could place it like that. I'm holding alt by the way to crop stuff so you could place it like that and that's your intermission screen that's uh no problem now if you want to get super super fancy what you can also do is uh find your video capture device go and add a filter it's going to be a mask again it's going to be image mask okay we're talking about image mask not face mask i'm going to click browse and we're going to add the wide mask okay and that's the wide mask it's just the grungy texture is all around you okay so now it blends a little bit better you could actually use that as a mask for your game scene also but there's no overlays for that i i don't know if that's clear enough but anyways uh this is pretty much it okay so since the dot overlay file was way too big to add to the pack and and remain free basically um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna be giving away five of those okay it's gonna be the dot overlay file for this if you guys don't know what a dot overlay file is basically you you import it into streamlabs obs and all of this thing that i just made is just already installed all you have to do is is uh switch for example your camera scene 
uh, um, add your own camera, add your own game capture. But other than that, everything right here will be already installed in inside of Streamlabs OBS. So in order to win those five, I'm going to pick five of you in the comment section. So please leave a comment in this video and I will be choosing the winner tomorrow night. So 24 hours after this video goes up, I will be choosing five people to send the dot overlay file to. But other than that, like, don't you worry, the whole overlay pack is free and uh, it's a good way to learn how to install stuff and mess around with overlays in Streamlabs OBS. So I do recommend you to go to gumroad.com slash get level and uh, get it. If you guys have any comments or if you guys have any games, the future overlay uh, uh, that you would like to see, please let me know in the comment section below also. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Get level out.